What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm here today to review Scream. Now, we're going to be doing this, and this is the first video of our Halloween kind of community series. Uh, quote unquote, it's kind of just a series of videos. Uh, we're going to be doing four movie reviews over the month of October. Every single Sunday, we'll have a new horror movie review. And I wanted to start it off with my favorite horror movie ever created, um, which is Scream. And I want to talk about that in this video, but I also want to kind of plug the fact that this, I want this to have uh, involvement from you. So, if you guys want me to review horror movies, I know some of you had already given me suggestions back in the Halloween uh, commu uh, community series kind of announcement video of the podcast now live. Um, so if you guys want me to review a specific horror movie, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I definitely want to start out with Scream. I want to talk about Scream a little bit. Scream to me, like I said, is my favorite horror movie, scary movie, whatever that's ever come out. And I've said that for a very, very long time. I think I've been saying that ever since I watched Scream. Um, and, and here's the thing. I'm not a big horror movie person. And maybe that's why I enjoy Scream because Scream's not scary. It's not like a jump scare. It's not, you know, it's not going to give you nightmares at night. Um, but what it does to me and like what it makes me feel is is so much more than any other horror movie. Um, if for one, you know, it's a it's a relatively old movie. It came out 22 years ago. It actually came out the year I was born in 1996, and I think it, it insanely still holds up. I feel like what they did and the fact that the movie revolves a, a lot around smarts. Uh, Wes Craven is a fantastic, you know, rest in peace. He is one of the m most brilliant horror movies and just director, uh, just minds in the cinematography uh, movie industry that I think has ever, you know, happened. Um, and he, you know, he's very, very talented and he's given us a lot of stuff, obviously, Night uh, Nightmare on Elm Street too. you know, giving us Freddy Krueger and all that stuff. Um, and I maybe want to review one of those as well. Um, but he, with what he did with Scream, although it did have a kind of an up and down uh, path all throughout it, you know, we've had four Scream movies, we've had the TV show, two seasons of it. Um, and they've, you know, they've had their bumps and, and I really do want a Scream 5. I do think that's a possibility. Actually, I do want to make a topic of, about that going forward. I love the Scream movies. I love all four of them. Um, and Scream 1, I think, is always going to be super, super special because it's the first one I ever watched. Um, I actually met Nev Campbell in a uh, like a Toronto fan expo, like a, a kind of like a Comic-Con thing. Um, and I, it, the, the movie is just so good, again, because it relies on being smart. Wes Craven knows what people, especially back then, uh, thought of that kind of movie, the, the kind of hack and slash thing. And Scream was a big part of bringing that back, but bringing it back in a much smarter and more sophisticated way than it ever had been before. Um, and I really do think it set the path for future movies, not just in the Scream franchise, but in the horror franchise going forward from 1996 to now. I, I feel like a lot of, uh, you know, if you ask directors, if you ask people that have made uh, horror movies, maybe even good ones or hack and slash ones in general, I, I would hope and I would almost guarantee that Scream would probably be um, something that they looked up to because the movie just did so many things right. It kept you guessing. It was interesting. Sting. It had great characters, fantastic characters, had a great plot. I mean, none of it was like cheesy. Um, and again, Wes Craven knew what we, and you know, if you watch like behind the scenes and stuff, like he knows what people perceive as scary. He knows what people perceive as like lame and horror or, or like when you can see it coming or, you know, all, uh, all the kind of tropes. And they, they would work on those and they would purposely do things to throw you off or they would do things to make fun of other movies. He would actually, you know, he would actually like go after um, other Halloween tropes or you know scary movie tropes, um, but he would do it better, and he and they they really advanced it. I feel like all of that put together, I just feel like Scream is such a sophisticated, smart movie. Um, and again. To me, that's what makes it my favorite horror movie ever. Now, if you're into the horror and the, the, the pure, like, the, the sounds and, or maybe you're into, like, super gory things or you're into, uh, you know, something that, like, jump scares, anything like that, I mean, there, this is not the movie because there are movies that are not like that. A, a modern day example, like an Insidious, Insidious does a lot of things right. Again, keeping a really good uh, atmosphere to it. And I think Scream has a good atmosphere to it. Um, but Insidious does a lot of things right and does a lot of things wrong, especially towards the end as well. Maybe that's a movie I could review um, for this as well. This is going to give me all sorts of ideas for future movies that I want to review. Um, but, you know, Scream is not that kind of film. And I honestly don't really, and I liked Insidious. I actually really liked it. But I'm not in to those kind of films. I don't really watch those kind of horror films for that. Um, I'm into the movies that are more sophisticated, smart. Uh, they know what's going to make you scared. or it's, it's just more intelligent. I like those kind of things that have the backdrop of a horror film. I mean, people will die in, in Scream. Um, you know, like the 
the obviously the whole like what's your favorite scary movie like the the sound quality um to Ghostface and to the phone calls and all that stuff. I mean there are some really cool things, but again the the acting is top notch. I really do I uh, think the acting in that movie is fantastic. They do so many things right that I do think other movies as well get right, um, but I just don't see it all that often. And all together I think it makes Scream uh, to me like the perfect horror movie um that's ever come out. I truly truly love that first film. I love all of them, but I think the first film is the best. Um, and I hope, I hope to see eventually a Scream 5 at some point in our lifetime. Um, but that's what I think of Scream. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think of Scream? What do you think about horror movies in general? Let me know. Make sure, again, to leave in the comments if you want me to review another horror movie. I have a couple ideas now. And I actually just thought of another one off, you know, in, in my head as recording this. Um, so, but let me know. And I'll definitely try and record. Uh, we have three more left. So I'll try and review um, as many as you guys want me to do within reason. So thank you guys so much for watching. These air every single Sunday. So next Sunday we'll have a brand new video and I hope to see you guys there.